Hey, hello, everybody. My name is Kevin. I've been a New York Jets fan since 1982, and I wanted to come talk to you guys about a big, big game and a big opportunity that the New York Jets are going to have uh, this Sunday going up against a very, very good Minnesota Vikings team in Minnesota. Uh, yesterday, uh, the Buffalo Bills, as I expected, defeated the reeling New England Patriots 24 to 10. Uh, the Buffalo Bills are now in possession of the AFC East lead at nine and three. Uh, the Patriots dropped to six and six. And so because of that, I'm really uh, glad that the Jets have this opportunity this coming weekend in Minnesota. Why? Because with a win against Minnesota, the Jets would go to eight and four, keeping a two game cushion on the New England Patriots. The New England Patriots unfortunately swept the New York Jets uh, earlier this year, winning both games. So if the season were to end and both teams were tied, New England would uh, be ahead of the Jets based on the head-to-head -head meetings that they have. Also, the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals are currently ahead of the Jets in the playoff standings, and they also have victories over the Jets. With that being said, the Jets are right now holding the seventh seed in the playoffs ahead of the Los Angeles Chargers and ahead of the New England Patriots. So a two-game cushion against the uh, New England Patriots is going to be vital, and hopefully the Jets can sustain, uh, get that two-game cushion uh, this coming Sunday, and they can be able to maintain that cushion throughout the rest of the season. And so basically it will come down to the Jets and the Chargers for the final playoff spot. Maybe the Jets can move up in the standings. They've got another game against Buffalo after this game against Minnesota. And maybe if the Miami Dolphins start stumbling, uh, the Jets would play them in the final week of the season. And it may come down to that for a playoff spot. But right now, the Jets really right now need to put the pressure on the Patriots to basically win out. And, it might, and it's not looking like the Patriots might win out based on the way they played against Buffalo and also based on the loss that they had on Thanksgiving Day against uh, the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, with that being said, as far as winning the AFC East, uh, winning the AFC East to me means absolutely nothing. It's not something that I really care about. The Jets have not been in the playoffs for 12 years. When you have not been in the playoffs in 12 years, just get to the playoffs. It doesn't matter what seed you are. I, going 17-0 and 0 after you haven't been in the playoffs in 12 years, that means nothing. Who cares about 14-3 and 3 or 13-4? and 4? Get to the playoffs. I don't care if you get there at 10-7 and 7 or 9-8. and 8. It's important – this year for the Jets to make the playoffs, especially with that young roster with those young bucks like Garrett Wilson and Sauce Gardner and Quinn and Williams. You have a young team on the rise. You have a head coach in Robert Sala that has really uh, taken the reins and, and has basically letting everybody know, hey, bro, I'm in charge. Uh, obviously, Robert Sala, a coach of the year candidate. And it's ironic because uh, we looked at the uh, first four games of the season against the Ravens and against uh, Cleveland and against Cincinnati and against Pittsburgh. Conceivably, the Jets could have been 0-4 and, and Robert Sala could have really been on the hot seat. Uh, but fortunately, they got that last minute win against Cleveland and that uh, fourth quarter comeback against uh, Pittsburgh. And ever since then, they've kind of been able to, to kind of right the ship outside of the two games against New England. But again, winning the AFC East this season, it's not important. It really ain't. Right now, your priority, your number one goal as this team, as an organization, is to get to the playoffs no matter what the record. I had predicted earlier uh, before the season began that the Jets would go 10-7 and seven and get a wild card spot. Uh, the way it's looking, the Jets are probably going to have to go 11 and six, but I don't see why the Jets cannot finish 11 and six and get a wild card spot. And I don't see why the Jets wouldn't be able to go on the road, especially with that defense and maybe get a road playoff win. With that being said, let's just focus on getting to the playoffs. That's all I care about. And that's all that really matters. As far as this weekend, you can expect a, a lower scoring game than what a lot of people anticipate. I think the Jets will win 20 to 17 on a last minute field goal by Greg the Legs Erline and uh, go eight and four and get that two game cushion on the New England Patriots. One more thing Zach Wilson, inactive for Sunday's game for the second week in a row. Uh, I'm not surprised that he was inactive last week against the Bears. I'm really surprised that he's inactive this week against Minnesota. 
Uh, Mike White is going to start. Joe Flacco is going to be the backup. Hopefully, Mike White plays well. We get the W and he stays healthy. Uh, hopefully, Joe Flacco won't have to come in at all. Uh, it, the fact that Zach Wilson has been inactive for a second week in a row, I think it's getting really, really dicey for, for Zach Wilson. I would have understood just one week, but now he's inactive for two weeks. Whew, man, first Sergeant Sala is really uh, putting order in the ranks of the New York Jets and uh, specialist Zach Wilson. He's in the at ease position right now. So uh, that's all I got to say about that. I'll talk to you guys later. Go Jets.